Hello everybody, welcome to Discipleship on this Monday night. This is Covenant Life Church, I'm Apostle Jeff, this is my wife, Apostle Dr. Linda. We're glad to have you with us tonight. Amen. And let's, uh, let's pray. Father, we look to you, we look to your word. We welcome your presence. Lord, I take authority over everything that has people discouraged, has people uh, wound up. They're like they can't find any peace. Lord, I speak peace be still to their minds, to their hearts. Lord, that we may minister the word effectively tonight. And, and with anointing and with authority. And Lord, we're asking that there be a blessing to everybody that tunes in tonight. And we give you praise and honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So I just want to, uh, be, before we really jump, jump in, thank you, honey. I just want to mention a couple of things. First of all, thank you for all those who uh, participated in the women's conference over the weekend. Uh, it was very successful and Praise God, we had re reports of healing and uh, pr prophetic words being right on, etc. So we want to thank you all for being a, being a part of that. And we just praise God for everything that, that took place uh, during, the, the, during the women's conference. If you didn't get a chance to see it, uh, everything is posted on Facebook. So feel, feel free to take a, take a look. Um, also, just a quick update on the uh, building. We're, we are moving forward. It's been a little bit slow in, in progress, but at least it's forward movement. Amen. And uh, we still have a have a bill out, out there. We have it's approximately a thousand dollars. We we had to put on a, another panic bar and do some electrical uh, to get ready for the you know inspectors coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we just appreciate uh, if you would go to our website www.covenant-life-church.org, and there's many ways to uh, give on the on the front page of our website. You can go in the upper right hand corner. And there's a donate button, and we certainly appreciate anything that you are willing to sow in. Praise God. Mm. And we want to thank you for your generosity yes. so so far. It's been wonderful. Yes, it Praise has. Praise God. And we're mm. very excited about our place. And mm -hmm. um, and that brings me to the next announcement. The uh, Vir Virginia governor, uh, he's basically kind of putting us back at phase one. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're not exactly shut in, but there are some strict re restrictions uh, for uh, churches. And so yeah. right now, what we're feeling led, we probably won't be able to open the sanctuary probably until about mid-January. Yeah. Um, and on, but until then, we have to pay the rent. We got to pay yes. the pay the utilities, and uh, we're just praising God though that we've got the place. Praise yes. God, because that was a miracle. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you. And uh, so we want to thank you for your prayers. We want to thank you for your do donations, and uh, we appreciate if you just keep praying us through. Amen. And mm -hmm. uh, also uh, on the note of COVID, we want you to be safe too. Absolutely. Okay. Praise God. Uh, we had re reports lately. Uh, in our area, there was a very prominent minister who yeah. recently passed away from COVID. And uh, also, we've had a minister friend uh, from another region within CI re recently passed and mm -hmm. from COVID. And That's so, right. uh, we have to use wisdom, yeah, you know. This isn't a head cold. It isn't just the flu. Yeah. This mm -hmm. can kill you. So, wear your mask. Lydia, mm -hmm. I can't understand why anybody has a problem with wearing a mask. You know, yeah. protect yourself, protect other people. You know, and, and we've had some questions, you know, uh, why are the ministers dying? You know, isn't God taking care of his people and yeah. all of this kind of thing, right? Right. So I just want to share a thought because I was asking the Lord about it too. Yeah. Amen. And I will tell you, I believe this is what the Lord told me, okay? Uh, we have to submit to those in authority. That's right. Okay. Uh, Dr. Fauci, who is the CDC, what he's the... He's the infectious leading. director of infectious disease. Thank you, honey. He's the number one guy in the United States uh, yeah. that has years and years of, of experience. Yeah, he's almost 80 and he's still doing it. Yeah, amen. And God bless him. Yeah, and he's dedicated and to his good work. He is. God bless him and called to it. You yeah. know, he mm -hmm. uh, loves it. And we're praising God for him. And he has recommended wear a mask, uh, use hand sanitizer, do some smart things. And so that's an authority. That's an authority in our land. Okay, and I believe what the Lord told me, you've got to submit to authority. Mm -hmm. That's scriptural. And uh, so we don't want to just, you know, arbitrarily say we're not, we're, we're going to ignore that. Okay, mm -hmm. and now in, in the states, whatever state that you might be a part of, uh, we exhort you to take a look at the CDC guidelines. Yes, for okay? your area. Use wisdom. 
Use mm -hmm. wisdom. Apostle Jeff and I are using wisdom. Amen. Yeah. We we canceled two things. Uh, we were going to go out and do something. Well, three things. Right. Uh, we were, you know, even going to bring a couple people into our house and, and the Lord said, no, you know, right. this is, this is not wisdom. Uh, so, and Thanksgiving's coming up, Christmas coming up. We we're would not like going to, anywhere. We would like to be with our family too. And, mm -hmm. uh, so the Lord has, as uh, he's exhorted us, you might say, mm -hmm. encouraged us to use wisdom. Mm -hmm. So we're in turn asking you to use wisdom. All right. right? Praise God. So, and some of you might have to do things. We understand that. Uh, these are great family times, but please be careful. Amen. And we are going to keep praying for you. We're going to keep lifting you up. And please pray for us too. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is a season when we all have to use wisdom. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, we, we pray, but God gave us a brain at the same time. That's Amen. Right. And, and, so, and that's what the Bible says. Submit to those in authority. Mm -hmm. So we just want to exhort you tonight to pray before you go out. Amen. I'm telling you, even when I got to go to the grocery store, I'm praying. Mm -hmm. Amen. And even when I go to the gas station, I'm praying. And by the way, I'm wearing gloves, by the way, and That's a right. mask. That's okay. Right. And I'm just using a little caution. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you all know that I'm praying. Amen. And mm -hmm. I'm binding, but you got to use wisdom at the same time. Mm -hmm. So I, for, for, forgive me for harping on that just a little bit, but you know, it really comes close to home when ministers are passing away. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're men of faith too, mm -hmm. men and women of of faith the, people, right. the the few people that we know personally that passed away they were great people of faith yes they were okay and uh so and we don't have the answer to everything but we do know yes. you need to follow what the authorities are saying mm -hmm. amen submit to those in authority so we just exhort you tonight to please do that use mm -hmm. wisdom pray before you go do do something a amen mm -hmm. and so um with that lord is there anything else amen thank you jesus so oh, all right so um when Apostle Jeff is done with the sermon, we will go into uh, pro prophetic ministry. We also want to pray for the for the sick. The uh, Lord has told us to start doing that more and more, and mm -hmm. so we definitely want to do that. We're stirring up the miracle anointing and, and the gifts of healing, and so if you uh, have a prayer request, you can go ahead and chat it in. we got Pastor Andrea on the mm -hmm. other line tonight, amen, and she will capture it all. She's multi-talented. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in fact, uh, uh, try to inundate her. Okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you, Andrea. So, yeah. but if you uh, if if you have a prayer request, please chat it in, okay? Mm -hmm. And and we will pray for that tonight. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're if this is your first time being with uh, with watching us uh, on on the broadcast, uh, if you're not on our mailing list, uh, <laughs> you're giving us faces, yeah. <laughs> smiley faces. If if you're not on our mailing list, okay. Uh, please chat your email in so Pastor Andrea can capture that. All right. That's right. And uh, uh, we're, we're going to be sending out a, a newsletter for both Thanksgiving and Christmas, and we're going to bring you up to date and encourage you in the newsletter. Amen. Mm -hmm. So we would appreciate very much. Uh, we want to make sure that, that you're on our mailing list. Okay? And ha having said that, we just bless you in the na name of the Lord, and we're going to turn it over to Apostle Jeff. He is a great anointed apostolic Jesus, teacher. Jesus. They, they uh, call him an apostolic teacher. Amen. So go go for it, honey. Amen. Well, after that introduction, <laughs> I've got to let you down. You never do. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're in that uh, portion of our discipleship training talking about leadership. And uh, we've said, you know, like, maybe you're not, you know, in a place of authority right at the moment. You're not a boss at work. You're not in charge of anything. But you still have a leadership. Amen. You're supposed to lead other people to Christ, right? Amen. That's right. And so we need leadership skills. And as you develop leadership skills, it's, it just blesses your life so that when the opportunities uh, to step into a place of authority or into a place of greater uh, responsibility, you're prepared and ready to go. So today I'm going to talk about it. All we need is the presence of God. And the other thing I want to talk about is, is uh, uh, the authority. How, you know, how do we maintain spiritual authority? All right. So I'm going to start tonight with, uh, you know, one of the most outstanding scriptures in the Old Testament that means a lot to me 
was David had gone to war at the Lord's instructions. He had conquered the enemy. Mm -hmm. And when he came back, Ziglag was burned with fire. And all the women and children of the armies was captured and carried off into captivity. And David's men were even talking about stoning him. They were so greedy. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're a general and your own troops are talking about shooting you, yeah. you're in some pretty deep trouble. This wasn't a high point mm -hmm. in David's career in life. And not the, the thing is, he was doing, he was out doing exactly what God told him to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that makes it clear to us as leaders that you can be doing what God has told you to do, and still you're going to get your zigzag burned with fire. You know, I've been impressed with that uh, yes. this week. You know that uh, all of us were shocked what happened to Bishop Harry Jackson. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, great man of God, very influential, very uh, anointed. Yes. He even uh, prayed and ministered to Trump in the White House. He was a, a true man of God. Mm -hmm. How could that happen to him? Well, mm -hmm. like Pastor Linda said, we don't know the answer to all things. Mm -hmm. You know, Hezekiah was told, put your house in order. Yeah. And he really, he cried his eyes out and went crazy and reminded God of all the good things he did. So God said, okay. He sent Isaiah back, telling him we're going to give him another 15 years. Oh, that's incredible. And then in that 15 years, his, he had another son named Manasseh, mm -hmm. who was the most evil king in the history of Israel. Mm -hmm. So it could have been, it would have been better if Hezekiah had just packed his bags and gone home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's because we don't know what's coming down the road. And for Bishop Jack and Jackson, thank God he's in heaven rejoicing. Amen. It's us that's still here that's, that are, the, well, those that knew him real well are, are sad. Mm -hmm. And those of us who are an acquaintance of his, we're wondering what in the world happened mm -hmm. there. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, the minister that, that uh, died, uh, uh, what, yesterday, mm -hmm. he was a good friend of ours. Yeah. He, he, we, in our network, we knew him personally, ministered in his church. Great man of God. Great, great man. Great man of faith. Wonderful man. We mm -hmm. loved him. Yeah. And here, all it, of a sudden, his heart just stops. He's home with the Lord, too. He's home with the, right next to Bishop. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, what I'm trying to say is, don't be trying to figure everything out. Sometimes you got to realize that you can be perfectly in the will of God and still have trouble. Mm -hmm. All right? So David, and then it says, what did David do about that? What David did was he, it, well, the word says, David encouraged himself in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that's why I want to talk to you tonight about leaders and, and when you're, in a position of, of having to lead others, one of the things, the greatest skills a leader can have is to encourage himself in the Lord or herself. Mm -hmm. uh, because when you're in leadership, there's not going to be too many people call you up and tell you what a great job you did. All right? <laughs> yeah. You know? Amen. Most people squawk and complain. Mm -hmm. And if that's all the input you get, or you get back, it makes you think to yourself, how, you know, mm -hmm. I thought that message I had Sunday was of the Lord. Mm -hmm. I thought that I was doing what God wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. I, you know, had instituted this or did that. And look at this mess. And mm -hmm. you've got to learn to encourage yourself in the Lord. Because he always will encourage you. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you're in, in down in the dumps, all he's going to say to you is, what are you doing here, Elijah? Yeah. You, you know? So you Amen. must encourage. So all we need, Amen. what we really need as leaders is the, the presence of the Lord. Amen. When we face difficult situations in life, we may be tempted to panic and try to figure things out on our own. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. How many mm -hmm. times I've done that? Mm -hmm. You know? 
things get squirrely and I start thinking to myself, how am I going to work this out? <clears throat> well, sometimes I can work it out. Sometimes I can't. But I know one who can always work it out. Now, I don't know why we don't ask him. Yeah. God wants to be involved in every detail of our lives. When we allow ourselves to be exposed to the word of God, you're in God's presence. <clears throat> All right? Reading the Bible or studying the Bible is not like reading a magazine or studying a school textbook. This book is alive. It's spoken by the Spirit who is alive. Amen. It's guaranteed to us by Jesus who is alive. Mm -hmm. So this word is alive. It has power. Mm -hmm. It has spiritual power. <clears throat> so we allow ourselves to be exposed to his presence. <clears throat> we find peace and resolution. Therefore, his presence is all we need. Whenever we are faced with trouble in our lives and fear arises. Now, that's an important point. There's different types of trouble, okay? There's some trouble, but it doesn't scare you. But there's some trouble that does frighten you. Like if you've got more bills than money. Mm -hmm. There's a rumor going around at work that there's going to be a big layoff. Maybe you've been out of work a while and the devil's telling you your, your, your family's going to collapse. A lion rat. Amen. When there's fear involved, that's when we really have to encourage ourselves in God's presence in his word. Amen. We can be confident that God is with us. And you can be confident that God is on your side. Let me ask you something. If he sent the most precious thing he had, his own son here, to die so that we could be in his part of his family, do you think that he's not with you? Amen. <coughs> now, I know sometimes, <coughs> sometimes it's hard to sense his presence. I'm sure all of us, I know I have, have gone through times in life where God felt like he was a thousand miles away. But we know from the word that he isn't. Mm -hmm. That he's right there with us. And we have to accept that by faith. And so when you see, take a scripture and speak it in faith and say, I'm choosing to believe this. Mm -hmm. However many times that fear comes back, you speak the word to it. Amen. Pretty soon your head and your heart are going to agree with what God has said. Mm -hmm. That's why I said this is a lie. Mm -hmm. There's power there. Mm -hmm. You can't do that reading the National Geographic. <laughs> You know, I mean, you might get a nice, uh, you know, a nice it's idea, good, yeah. you know, what it's like in Zimbabwe or something, but you're yeah. not going to, it's not going to change your heart. It's not going to change your mind, renew your mind, enrich your life, Amen. pull you out of the doldrums, mm -hmm. eliminate the fear. Because mm -hmm. believe me, Amen. you know, <laughs> leaders especially spiritual leaders, all go through the same thing as you do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes at a more intense degree than even you do. Because the devil knows if he can knock off the head, he can tear down the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, you know, who does he shoot at first? You know <laughs> what I mean? So, and I'm not saying that to brag about us or how cool we are or anything like that. I'm just telling you, be aware that if you move up in rank and move up in positions, there's a greater level of opposition than you get. Okay? 
We, we uh, have a saying in the prophetic yeah. that every new level is a new devil. And what we mean by that is not that there's anything new under the sun, <laughs> but there are, we know there are, ter there are territorial spirits, principalities, powers, etc. And there are things that God does not allow to come after you mm -hmm. unless you're at a certain level. If you're at a certain level, okay, uh, so we don't know exactly how all of that works, but we have, but we know by experience that as you move up in authority, and as your anointing moves up, mm -hmm. there's new temptations, mm -hmm. uh, new things that... New trials. Uh, new trials, exactly, and tests. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we mean by at every new level is a new devil. So yeah. you don't you don't want to move beyond what you are called to do. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. So you, don't, you, ne you never want to be envious of what another person is doing in their ministry. No. Because you don't know what they went through to get there. Exactly. Because you can believe there's no uh, Burger King way. Okay, we don't yeah. we don't get it our way. Right. <laughs> there's no Burger King route. <laughs> no McDonald's. There's no have it your way. Yeah. No, 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 not with the kingdom of God. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. But the good thing, the good news is God is with us. Right. And Amen. he never leaves us. He never leaves us. Amen. And he will not fail us. Well, so that's where the truth will set you free. Amen. You see? If you speak that word to that situation, the situation may not change, but you do. Amen. And then I stay in that position until my situation does change. Amen. I mean, nobody stoned David. He caught out of it. He came out of the cave of Adullam. Mm -hmm. He overcame obstacles, but he had to face them. Yeah. And we all have to. Psalm 27, 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Mm -hmm. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Jesus said he tells you who to be afraid of. Don't fear them that after they kill the body, there's nothing more they can do. Rather fear him who has the authority to cast into hell. Yes, rather be afraid of him. Mm -hmm. So that puts things in the proper perspective. Mm -hmm. He is our present help in times of trouble. Whenever we feel he's not with us, we should acknowledge that he is there. His word says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. We cannot measure, here's the thing, we cannot measure God's presence by the way we feel or by considering our present circumstances. Mm -hmm. You can't say, well, I feel good today, so God must be with me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm happy and joyful, and so mm -hmm. God, is, God is with us. Mm -hmm. And then the next time, you know, you're not so happy and joyful, well, now he's not with you. No, no. Mm -hmm. He's with you in both situations. Mm -hmm. You can't look at circumstance to evaluate God's presence or what he's going to do on your behalf. Mm -hmm. See, God guarantees victory through his presence. Moses, you know, he made all kinds of excuses. He didn't want to go confront Pharaoh. He didn't want to deliver Israel. Mm -hmm. And you'll be surprised how many people are called to do something they don't really don't want to do. <laughs> you, you know? It's true, you know. <laughs> that's a, that's a good statement, Joe. You yeah. know, it, it, and I, you know, I hesitate to say this, but I'm going to anyway. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> I have very seldom had God tell me to do something that when I first heard it or first started doing it, I just was dancing with joy. <laughs> No, it, you know, it was, now later, when the anointing came, or the blessings came, or we pushed through to victory in some area, then the joy came. But God was with me in both cases. Moses tried to bail out, and finally, God's answer to Moses and all his problems, all his questions, his answer was, nevertheless, I'll go with you. Amen. 
In other words, that solves the whole problem. Yes, Nevertheless, I'm going to go with you. And if he doesn't go with you, you don't want to go. Right. Amen. And, and we know he will go with us. That's right. Amen. Amen. So God was with Joseph in prison. Well, think about that. Here's this <coughs> man, Joseph, mm -hmm. who has a promise through a dream mm -hmm. of being someone great. Well, the first thing that happens is his own brothers throw him down a well. An empty well at that. Good thing he probably would have drowned if it wasn't. Then they pull him out and, and sell him to some Ishlamite traders. They sold him. Can you imagine your own brothers selling you? And he was almost killed by his own brothers on top yeah, of it. There yeah. was a big argument going on. Yeah. And Reuben showed up and told him, you better not take Yeah, you can't take kill blood. your own. You can't. You know. you know, if it hadn't been for Reuben, right. he'd have been dead. Right. So he gets up out of a well, gets sold as a, as a slave, and he's taken to Egypt. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, the Egyptian who got him, his name was Potiphar, and he was the master of a great deal of wealth and a great deal of authority in Egypt. And Joseph was started working for him. And because God was with Joseph, the favor of God was on everything Joseph did. So that Joseph ended up in charge of Potiphar's house. The word says Potiphar could see that the Lord's hand was with Joseph. So he just turned over everything to him. <coughs> and so later, <coughs> Potiphar's wife makes a false accusation about him, mm -hmm. and he ends up in prison. Yeah. Now, that's quite what you call going from the palace to the prison. And you have to stand and encourage yourself in God and be aware of his presence mm -hmm. everywhere. But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy. And he gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. And the keeper of the prison committed to Joseph's hand all the prisoners who were in the prison. Whatever they did there, it was his doing. The keeper of the prison did not look into anything that was under Joseph's authority because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made it prosper. But you know, I want to interject a thought here. That didn't happen overnight. I'm sorry. I mean, in these scriptures, it's boom, boom. Yeah. No, that didn't happen overnight. No. So think about that. So here's Joseph. He doesn't have speaking in tongues. He doesn't have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He, 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 he can't say, Rabba Shoka Rabba. And stir himself up like that. Okay? Mm -hmm. It wasn't Christ in him, the hope of glory. Mm -hmm. this, this is the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Amen? So he didn't have the spirit like you and I have to even encourage himself in, in God in the same way that we can. Very mm -hmm. easily and simply and quickly. Amen? And he didn't have the scriptures the, the way that you, you and I have. Okay? Mm -hmm. So just think about that now. He had to be strong. Uh, we don't hear anything in here that he attempted suicide or that he was thinking about suicide or that he was depressed or that he was uh, blaming a, a bunch of people for what happened to him this is a tremendous case study uh, mm -hmm. right here about the resilience of Joseph mm -hmm. and and how uh, you know I mean because the scriptures don't talk about that mm -hmm. and yet you can be sure he was a human being mm -hmm. amen so he must have been, he must have had some very bad nights thinking about all all this stuff Absolutely. okay but look how the Lord graced him and favored him mm -hmm. and, it, and it doesn't even refer to all that so so he overcame these are all just prayer, prayer requests okay. for later okay. but so he had to overcome all of those human thoughts mm -hmm. amen and and I'm sure a lot of them demonically inspired mm -hmm. but he had to overcome that and drive on and God gave him this supernatural grace praise mm -hmm. God so just want to point out that this didn't happen overnight amen yes so often the hardest times in our lives are launching pads for our greatest promotions and blessings. 
Joseph succeeded continuously because God was with him. Each low point in his life came right before a great promotion. <clears throat> when we are become aware of God's presence and acknowledge it, it changes our focus. <clears throat> Anytime we're exposed to, to his presence, God's encouragement and direction is there. Amen. Trees are exposed to the water and sunlight. They don't have to struggle to be trees. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. When you're exposed to Jesus and his word, mm -hmm. it cuts down what you have to struggle. Mm -hmm. You know, trees don't have emotions. People do. And, you know, and I, I want to say to you, emotion, it, never be ashamed of having emotions, okay? But I can't have any shit. Yeah. We're not Mr. Spock. Okay, <laughs> we can't just say that's not logical and, and move on because we're human. But we can learn to not let our emotions rule what we believe. And if there's one thing God really enjoys, mm -hmm. it's when his people believe him. Mm -hmm. He really looks for that, mm -hmm. that we believe him, that we trust him. Mm -hmm. Anytime we're exposed to God's word, we're exposed to his presence. It is vital that we begin to value and acknowledge his presence because he wants to be involved in everything we're doing. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, wants to direct us. His ultimate goal is to make us like him. Well, I would say he's got a, a, a job on his hands. <laughs> If he, you know, if he wants to make me like Jesus. The same here. Amen. But that's what he's doing in all our lives. Yes, praise God he's doing that. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We're so, you know, the, the Lord is so merciful to all of us. He is. Praise God. To even, even be willing to work on us. Amen. Yes. <laughs> the hills melted like wax at the presence of the Lord. At the presence of the, of the Lord of the whole earth. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, amen. Huge problems melt down in, in his presence. Gigantic issues shrink to nothing. The presence of the Lord can free us from worry. We cannot pretend that our troubles don't exist. However, we can allow God's word and his spirit to minimize them. And, you know, it takes some experience to do that. You have to be walking with the Lord for a while. You, you know, you got to win a couple. Amen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Amen. And then you begin yeah. to realize, hey, this is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. That's Psalm 3.3. 3. Mm -hmm. That's the scripture I said to myself. When they were rolling me into the operating room, Lord, you the nurse looked at me and said, "Start counting from ten to uh, ten to zero. Mm -hmm. and I thought, "Lord, <laughs> you are a shield for me. My glory. I said this out loud. You are a shield for me. My glory and a lifter of my glory." <laughs> They hit you with those anesthetics. You know? what, 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 what surgery was that, hon? Was uh, that the heart attack? No, that was um, the appendix. You, he, he's had some, some experiences, <coughs> boy, I'll, I'll tell you. Yeah. Wow. Man. We can be comforted when we consider that God is intimately aware of everything in our lives. Mm -hmm. Everything. He knows how many hairs are on my head. Mm -hmm. And he's aware of it. Right. Amen. Amen. When you go to get a haircut, he knows how many they cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think of that? I never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yes. And so we need, <clears throat> we need to build the presence of God in our lives. Yes. Because that's an important function of leadership. Yes. You have to be able to encourage yourself mm -hmm. so that you know. Because, see, the people that you're leading are going to come to you for encouragement. Yes. 
-hmm. All right. So how are you going to do that if you're dis <laughs> depressed yourself? Mm -hmm. You know. Right. Yeah, that's right. So, so that's important to leadership. Amen. So I I don't know about you, but one of the things that I do right away I get in the Word of God. I, put on the worship music, and I start speaking in tongues. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Praise God. And the presence comes very quickly, and praise God that he'll just refresh you and stir you up. Amen? Mm -hmm. And encourage you. Amen. If you turn in your Bibles or your iPad <laughs> to Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13. Yeah, we've been in the Word quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Well, let's see if I can find it, honey. Chapter oh. 3, I'm sorry. Ephesians chapter 1. Okay, 3 is good. Mm -hmm. Chapter 1, verse 3. Chapter 1, verse 3. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yep. Cool. Very good. Amen. Are those mm -hmm. my highlights or yours? Th those are all yours. Oh, okay. And I like them because they're various colors. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pretty. <laughs> yeah. It's colorful. Let's be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Who has done deal? It's already done. He's going yeah. to. Mm -hmm. He has. Right. Who has blessed us mm -hmm. with every spiritual blessing mm -hmm. in the heavenly places in Christ? Mm -hmm. in those heavenly places. Yes. All right. There's places up there in heaven. Mm -hmm. All right. We've mm -hmm. got spiritual blessings in all of them. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Now, how can you think about that and be sad? Yeah. Right on. Mm -hmm. Just as he chose us. There it is again. He didn't chose, we didn't choose him, he mm -hmm. chose us. Mm -hmm. All right, he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. Amen. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will, mm -hmm. to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted mm -hmm. in the beloved. You know, mm -hmm. once we understand God's grace, we begin to see our spiritual authority. We understand his presence. We understand his authority. And then we understand it in a whole new light. Mm -hmm. We can stop trying to make things happen and trust what Jesus has already done. Under the Old Covenant, the priests had to make continual sacrifices for the people's sins. But Jesus' blood was the perfect sacrifice that forever took away the need to do that. Through his blood, we are made righteous, we are sanctified, we are holy and wise, through Jesus, we are enabled to do everything we could not do under the law of Moses. Anything Amen. God tells you to do, he's going to enable you to do it. Amen. <coughs> now, he might tell you to go into Egypt and free Israel. Well, that's not going to happen in one weekend. <laughs> All right? That's right. right. And there's a lot of training between here and there. All right, because we need the only way we get wisdom, the only way we understand God and, and how He operates is to go through some things. Mm -hmm. And I, I know I'm sitting here tonight, you know, I know some of you are really going through some things. All right, I mean, I've talked to you and I, I know what you're going through, and I also know. That in the end, we win. Yes, that's right. In the end, we're going to go through victorious. Amen. But between here and there, we've got some things we have to go through. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Standing on God's word makes us strong. Choosing to accept the authority of Jesus made available empowers us to defeat the enemy. Where do you get the power? Right here. Faith yeah. comes by hearing, hearing by the word. Amen. Right. Amen. What you say with your mouth, what you believe in your heart is what's going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. All right? So the word of God can't just be a 
-hmm. you know, just another textbook for sermons. It can't just be something that we read and, you know, study for knowledge. It doesn't say what you believe in your head and say with your mouth will come to pass. Mm -hmm. It says what you believe in your heart. Mm -hmm. And that requires Amen. a meditation, being in his presence, mm -hmm. and letting the Spirit of God work that in for you. Mm -hmm. I was laying flat on my back with my appendix feeling like it was going to jump out of my chest or yeah. my guts down here. Yeah. Now, I didn't, I wasn't thinking about anything or, you know, particularly spiritual. And that, when she said count down, that's when I said, Lord, be a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. That popped out of my heart. Well, I'm still here, so he must have been a shield. Oh, for praise me. God. Amen. You know? Yes, so praise, praise God. Yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. That's right, honey. So mm -hmm. let's look at a situation. We'll turn to Matthew chapter 16. You know, Jeff, before you go there, okay. um, he, the point he made was just really critical to all of the gospel. It's all about believing. Okay? Mm -hmm. What do you believe in your heart? Right. Not your head like you said, or what's coming out of your mouth, what, what is in your heart? Right. And I know that even a, a couple months ago, the Lord was really talking a lot about what is going on with our heart. Mm -hmm. Amen? Even the scripture that says, guard your heart mm -hmm. with all diligence, for out of it come the issues of life. Mm -hmm. Just think about that. Everything, every issue in life mm -hmm. comes out of whatever's in your heart. So for your life, Right. Okay, so what's in our heart? Right. And that's why God is trying to cleanse us, amen? <laughs> Create in me a clean heart. Because everything in our life is influenced by what we have in our heart. Amen? So just I felt just really unctioned just to foot stomp that. That it's all about what you believe in your heart. Amen. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Amen. Mm -hmm. And that's talking about what are, what do you believe? Mm -hmm. Do you believe God is for you? Do you believe that the Word of God has preeminence above all things? Mm -hmm. uh, even our situations in, in life, our circumstances, our problems, our issues. Mm -hmm. You know, what do we believe? Mm -hmm. Amen. And you know, I don't know about you, but there have been times in my life I had to ask the Lord to help me believe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lord, uh, put it in my heart so that I actually believe it. <laughs> help me, O oh, oh Lord, right? Help me. You know, increase my faith and help me, Lord. So I just felt an unction on that because what you believe in your heart is so critical to every aspect of your life. Amen. Sorry, honey. Go, go it's for okay. It. We'll go to Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16, verse 16. Now, this is uh, Kerr's. Right after the Lord asked his disciples, who do you say that I am? And then Simon Peter answered and said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. Now that's quite a revelation. Mm. And Simon Peter <coughs> was the first man to get that total revelation. See, Christ means anointed one. You are the anointed one. But the rest of it, the son of the living God, huh, that, was a, wow. so, that was something new. Oh, yeah. And that you was, didn't go around no. in Israel saying somebody was God, I'll tell you that. That's right, yeah. <laughs> so mm -hmm. he's saying something here. Yes. <clears throat> and I believe this was a, under the influence of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. Yes. And I also say to you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, 
<clears throat> and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he commanded his disciples that they should tell no one that he was Jesus the Christ. See, it doesn't say Jesus Christ, it's Jesus the Christ, mm -hmm. Jesus the anointed one. Amen. All right? <clears throat> From that time, Jesus began to show to his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day now here we are with good old peter again yeah then peter took him aside and began to rebuke him saying far be it from you lord this shall not happen to you mm -hmm. <coughs> but he turned and said to peter get behind me satan you are an offense to me we are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of men. Mm -hmm. And notice he had his heart in the right place one time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And not in the right place a second time. Mm -hmm. And that didn't take long for that shift. Right. Right? Yeah. And in here, too, mm -hmm. we must note that great revelation brings great temptation and great trials. What, what a thing to hear that the most wonderful person you had ever known mm -hmm. and now you know who he is the father just revealed him to you and now you're hearing this word about dying and, and suffering mm -hmm. and, and you know see that that was Judas problem he was cool with being sitting on one of the tribes and ruling a tribe of Israel mm -hmm. but as soon as they started about tests and trials and crucifixions and dying mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. he didn't want anything for any part of that he was going to take a shortcut <laughs> yeah also yeah. something that i want to point out in this passage here we had just said at every new level is a new devil you can see that right in this passage mm -hmm. okay because the revelation the father gave him that revelation okay and you have to remember Jesus had not died on the cross yet. Mm -mm. So the Holy Spirit had not been released like you and I have it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was a tremendous direct revelation that Jesus was a son of the living God. Okay, and then look mm -hmm. at how Satan got involved right away. Immediately. Okay, he attacked him for that revelation. That's right. Okay, that's what I'm getting the at. The devil started. will attack your revelation. Okay, so I'm getting a witness on it right now, all mm -hmm. over my body, because I want to tell you, okay? Because mm -hmm. we're speaking truth to you tonight, amen? Not wanting to scare anybody, but we're just pointing out here, okay, that, okay, everybody wants to be a prophet. Everybody wants to be an apostle. Everybody wants a minister. Everybody wants to move in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And God God bless you. Wanting. God bless you. That's great, okay? But you got to remember that there's going to be a test and a trial and and the tests end, and trials plural. more than one okay <laughs> and you have to be you the, the the spirit this is why the spirit is going to take you up line upon line right okay he's not going to make an apostle out, out of you tomorrow no okay because we wouldn't be able to handle it right we wouldn't be able to handle the temptation the trials right. the test okay with because, all we've gone through over this building do you think if that had happened 20 years ago, we would have just stood and, and fought back? And You know, and, and I would I like, would have lost my mind. I would like to say yes, but I can tell you, God knows us better than but, we know ourselves. And we did. Amen. And, and uh, plus, we were still in the military back then. Okay, you were, you we, were working. Right. There was a lot going on in our in our life. So there's there's timing in God for everything. Right. Amen. And, and the, you know, so what I'm trying to say is, after all this time, we've learned a few things. Amen. Amen. By God's grace only. By God's grace. We're not <laughs> taking any credit for anything. We still go he through a lot. led us by the hand through a lot of He's junk, had a lot, a lot of mercy time. and a lot of grace upon us. So, oh, man. But I just had an unction to reveal to you in this very chapter. And I want to tell you something. That's the first time I've seen it my, myself. This is hot off the press where I was seeing it. Well, God just immediately connected that. All right? Mm -hmm. And so you can see it right there. Mm -hmm. Okay? So... We, we, we want to move in God's time. We, we always want to pursue. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, like right right now, we've been pursuing miracles for a long time. Yes, we okay? have. Okay, we, we want um, the manifestation of the apostolic mantle, right. which is signs, miracles, and wonders. Mm -hmm. But we also realize mm -hmm. when we're asking for that, 
that there will be tests and trials that may come along. Mm -hmm. And we need God's grace to overcome. But praise God, the word of God says, amen, my grace is sufficient for thee. Amen. Yes. But that's why you want to move in God's timing. Yeah. Right? Stay under God's blessing. A amen. And be patient. That's why we got to be patient. Be patient and endure. Mm -hmm. Because God knows what's best for us. Amen. amen. And you can trust him. Yes, you can. You can trust him. Yes. Amen. That he's mm -hmm. going to move you up in the right time. time in the right place amen. with the right thing. Right. And by the way, you have to have the right covering. you mm -hmm. got to be connected to the right people. Mm -hmm. Amen. So there's a lot of other variables that are a part of this. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's why it's important to, to follow Jesus. My sheep hear my voice and they follow me. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And you know uh, what Paul said the signs of an apostle were? Miracles and patience. Mm -hmm. I just got that just now. That's why we're going through what we're going through. We want signs, miracles, and wonders, so we got to wait for this building. <laughs> we have to be patient. Now, you know as well as I do, neither one of us are very patient. No, we're not. <laughs> right, but we're going to have to get better at it. Oh, he's forcing it, honey. Yeah, you know? he is. You know? And we can still see the, the hand of the Lord protecting us. Yes, absolutely. You know, I mean, yes. if we had gone all piled into that building... And people started getting COVID and, you know, people were sick and everything. Yeah. Oh, my God, what a disaster that would have been. Mm -hmm. So we're proceeding along, plotting, plotting, plotting. You yeah. know, Abraham was told to go to the, you know, to a land I will show you. He was out there for years just plotting, <laughs> plotting, plotting. <laughs> Bottom, you know? Where's like, the landlord? Where? <laughs> where? You know, like, what's up with this? Yeah, really, where is We're it? out here in this dust. You gotta be kidding me. You know, no <laughs> water. We gotta dig our own wells. Oh, man. And then he had to <coughs> feed his family. He had to yeah. feed the animals. Can you imagine? Yeah. There was a lot involved in that scene. And then, what, and when you're walking, uh -huh. you only accomplish a few miles e each day. Right. Okay, it's not like you you know you're in a car and you go sixty miles an hour. Yeah, there's no, no freeways. No. When you're walking and you got the animals like that, mm -hmm. and and then you have children. And the worst part is you can't pull in a Seven Eleven and get a cup of coffee. <laughs> there's that, no. That's what would have freaked. There's no out. air conditioning. Okay, yeah. no pizza hut along the way. <laughs> really, let's stop and let's get a McDonald's. <laughs> mm. Can't you see Abraham pulling up in a camel? Oh, man. McDonald's? We are so blessed to be in the year 2020. Yeah. No despite joke. the problems we're all having. Yeah. Amen. Aren't yeah. you glad you have air conditioning tonight? Yeah. Or heat? Or a TV or technology? Amen. Yeah. How about a cell phone? Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, Peter was under the proper influence of the one time. And under the wrong influence the second time. Yeah. So, whoever or whatever we yield ourselves to is what we become servants of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and if you're going to be a leader, you have to be a servant. Yes. All right? If you're going to be a leader, you're going to have to learn how to submit. Mm -hmm. You have to know that, right. you know... You can't expect to be followed if you're not a follower. Mm -hmm. You can't expect to be a leader and have people serve what you want to do if you're not a servant yourself. Yes. Amen. You know, he that is greatest among you, let him serve all others, all the others. Mm -hmm. Submitting to obey the word gives us right standing with God's. Our actions are important. Every action has a consequence, whether good or evil. Now, understand this. The devil uses emotions to forge inroads and establish a stronghold over us. When we use our God-given authority and refuse to yield to him, we are pleasing to God. All right? There's no point in, in trying to have our emotions go away. That's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. What we have to do, especially if you're in leadership, is you have to know how to yield to the spirit. You have to know how to control your emotions by the spirit. 
<clears throat> when that surgeon told me you got to have your appendix cut out, I'll be the first to tell you I was a little afraid. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know appendixes aren't all that, you know, it's not like open heart surgery or something. But hey, anytime they take a knife and cut you open, <laughs> all right, you know, like, yeah. you know, <clears throat> I'm not a dissecting frog, you know, I mean, <laughs> put that knife away. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So the emotion's going to be there, mm -hmm. but you can't let that emotion rule what you believe. Yes. Amen. The only way you can keep <coughs> power in your heart and coming out of your mouth is to control what you believe by the word of God, not mm -hmm. by what you hear, not by what you see, not by what feelings come along. Right. Smith Wigglesworth said one time he never asked himself how he felt. <laughs> Now, that's yeah. pretty cool and pretty good. I don't yeah, think I yeah. can do that, but <laughs> Smith Wigglesworth probably did. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Wrath and anger mm -hmm. do not work the righteousness of God. James 1.20, for the wrath of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Okay? <clears throat> Giving in to emotions and letting resentment and bitterness get the upper hand opens us up to the devil's influence. Wherever envy and strife are found, confusion and evil are there. Mm -hmm. When we are in Christ, we are a sweet aroma to God. We, we are to God the fragrance of Christ among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. Mm -hmm. The word says, be sober and vigilant to guard against our enemy, the devil, who is looking for someone to devour. So if he's looking for someone to devour, that must mean he can't devour all of us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. But he's looking. Mm -hmm. He looks for some opening. Yes. He looks for a way in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the only way that can happen is when we give in to him. Be sober and vigilant. Sober doesn't mean not be drunk. Sober means to be sober-minded, to pay attention, mm -hmm. to keep your mind focused. Mm -hmm. and, and be vigilant means to realize this is an ongoing thing every day, all day, because the devil is a 24-hour enemy. Be sober, be vigilant. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you, Lord, for today's lesson. We give you praise and honor and glory. And we just Amen. we just submit this message. We submit these leadership principles. We submit ourselves to you and to your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So there's uh, three uh, prayer, prayer requests here. So there's the first one, second, and mm -hmm. third. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we'll... Transition, and we'll go ahead and do the prayer request. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Andrea. We, we see you. Mm -hmm. All right. Father, we pray for Monica, yes. who has a diagnosis of multiple myelo myeloma. Myeloma. Father, we just thank you, Lord, that your word is stronger than any disease. If, Lord, we don't care what they diagnosed. By his stripes, we are healed. The word says he sent his word and he healed them yes. and delivered them from all their fears. Father, we send a word to Monica tonight. Lord, we send that word of healing to her. And not only is that word of healing, but she'll be delivered from all her fear. She'll not fear this diagnosis. She'll not fear this evil report. She will instead believe the word. She will instead stand in faith. She will instead have a good testimony that she's completely and totally healed. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Virginia, okay. Lord, we pay for Virginia's continued a continued prayer for health in her body. 
Father, we just pray, Lord, that I guess if it's continued, I mean, there must be some healing going on already. Yeah, I've prayed for her several times, and so she's asking for more prayer. Okay, um, why don't you handle there, it? There hasn't, been a, there hasn't been 100% healing yet. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we just lift, we lift up Miss Virginia right now. In the name of Jesus, we just come against those diseases. Father, the sickness and infirmity that's st still trying to afflict her body, we rebuke that. We bind that in Jesus' name, and we command that off of her body right now. Uh, for I am the Lord that healeth thee, Father. We release that healing to her right now from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, Father, in the name of Jesus. And, Father, we just thank you, Father, for the healing right now, for healing virtue going through her body right now in Jesus' name. And, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. And, Lord, we just hold up before you, Jam. Lord, we pray for her brother, Michael, for his ears, his hearing. He has ringing in his ears from when he served in the Marines. Father, we just come against that damage to his eardrums, the stir, and the, the inner ear. Father, we speak healing to Michael. We yes. speak healing to yes. Jam's brother. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we command yes. those eardrums to be healed in Jesus and to open. And Lord, there'll be no buildup of earwax. Yes, amen. In there. And there'll be no undue pressure on, on that nerve inside his ear. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. amen. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you, honey. Yes. All right. We're going to transition to the prophetic. Amen. Praise God. Thank Come you, Lord. On. Thank Come you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, she's under there again. I don't know why. I don't know. Amen. It's our, our little member. Yes. Amen. <laughs> she has to supervise. I see that. Okay. Yes. Amen. Good. All Thank right. Bye-bye. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, honey. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. All right. So this first word is for Selena Williams. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure this thing is rolling. Amen. Father, we just lift up Selena right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I just thank you, Father. Lord, and, and uh, I, I just hear the Lord say, Selena, he wants to give you a word of encouragement tonight for the lord says i'm with you i'm not against you says god i am for you says the lord and the lord says i'm turning some things around in your life right now says the lord and i'm making all grace abound towards you that you have sufficiency in all things says that says the lord and the, and the lord says daughter there have been some areas where the enemy has tried to burn out uh from you he's tried to bring destruction into your life but the lord says that i have come that you might have life and more abundantly and the Lord says, I'm turning around some things tonight. And the Lord says, even over the next 6 to 12 months, the Lord says that there's going to be a steady a steady increase in your life in various ways, uh, says, says God. So the Lord says, do not be discouraged, says the Lord, but continue to believe me and my word, says God. The Lord says, even tonight as you are listening, you know that my word is true, says the Lord. And the Lord says that I'm going to be advancing you in this next season, says the Lord. The Lord says 2021 is going to be even better for you than 2020, says the Lord. The Lord says, I'm going to open up some opportunities, some doors of opportunity for you, says God. Not only in ministry, but even in, in the area of employment and career, says God. So the Lord says, I want you to continue to believe me for great things, because I'm going to continue to do great things in your life, says the Lord. And the Lord says that I'm even going to burn out, even uh, the, the, the Lord says, I'm going to burn out what the enemy tried to do, and I'm going to bring restoration says God. Amen. And so I'm just hearing the Lord say, amen. I'm just seeing like a, 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 a plushy green grassy area. Amen. Where it once was dried and burned out, God is going to reseed it. Amen. He's going to bring restoration to you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm hearing him say he's going to restore what the, what the canker worm and, and the locust has tried to eaten up and steal from you. Amen. So believe God for restoration in this next season. And the Lord says, I'm also hearing him say that there's healing for your physical body as well as the emotional realm. For the Lord says, I'm digging deep, says God, and I'm peeling back the onion even more. You know how onion has layers, and God is going to peel peel it back, and that means that he's healing uh, to a greater extent. A amen? So there's some areas in your in your life uh, right now where, where God has already been working on. He's been healing you from some things of the past, and the Lord says, I'm peeling back another layer, and I'm healing more, says God. And so the Lord says, rejoice in this season. Rejoice, says God. And again, I say rejoice. For I'm with you, says the Lord. And I'm healing you and I'm restoring you. 
says the Lord. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just release that to Miss Lena right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, I just thank you, Father, for this great woman of God and for the things that she's already been uh, believing you for. You're a great woman. Of, uh, you know, a great woman of faith is what I'm hearing the Lord say. Keep on, Shalina, keep on. So, Father, we again, we just release that to her right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, we thank you for encouragement. We stir it up and release it to her right now. And that word of healing right now, even from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet, we release healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And we seal that word and we charge it to her in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Okay, this word is for Oh Hey Krista. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just stir my, up my sister right now in the name of Jesus. We release the prophetic apostolic upon her. And the Lord says that you already hear my word with an accuracy, uh, says that says the Lord. And, and the Lord says that I'm continuing to bless you in the prophetic as well as other areas of of your life, uh, says God. And the, and the Lord says that I'm healing some relationships in your life right now, says that says the Lord. Amen. So the Lord says, be encouraged tonight. Be encouraged by the word of the Lord, even as you heard the broadcast tonight. And we were talking about encouraging yourself in the Lord. The Lord says, daughter, I want you to encourage yourself in the word. Encourage yourself in the Lord, just as David had to do, says God. The Lord says, I want you to sing before me and rejoice and thank me, even, even for the things that I've already done. The Lord says, put me in remembrance for the things that I've already done in your life. And the Lord says, it's going to give you encouragement for the great things that you're believing for right now. And the Lord says that I will open up the windows of heaven for you, and I'll pour out upon you even that which you can't even contain, says the Lord. For the Lord says, My spirit is moving upon you even now to encourage you and to lift you up, says God. And so the Lord says that I'm going to pick you up and take you out of the miry clay, and I'm putting your feet on solid ground, says the Lord. And the Lord says your future is even going to be better than your past. So be encouraged this night, my daughter. Be encouraged, says the Lord. So, Father, in Jesus' name, we release that to my sister right now. In Jesus' name, and I just thank you, Lord, for it. And we charge her with it, and we seal that word. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. This word is for Diamond. Hi, Diamond. How are you doing tonight? And we want to thank all of you for tuning in to broadcast tonight. Amen. And, Father, we just, uh, uh, just release a word of encouragement even to Diamond. Amen. Uh, praise God. I'm just feeling also an encouragement for you all also, Diamond. Amen. That the Lord says, and even now you have many words, many, many prophecies, uh, many things that the Lord has already spoke to your heart. And, 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 you know, I'm just hearing again, I don't know if you've done this yet or not, but write your prophecies out and pray over them and believe for them. For the Lord says, I am going to bring to pass everything that I have told you, says the Lord. The Lord says, none of these words are going to fall to the ground. But the Lord says you must continue to believe on them. You must begin, uh, even continue to speak them forth, says God, along with the words, says the Lord. A amen. A take your prophecies, Diamond, and, and also find uh, the scriptures that are also lining up with those prophecies and speak them all into the environment. And I would recommend doing that every day. Amen. Every day. It's like daily bread. Amen. And the Lord says, Diamond, even as you do that, you're going to see great growth in your life, and you're going to see changes all around you, says the Lord, that are going to be godly and, and going to be a, a fulfillment of the things that you are praying for. So the Lord says, look up, fix your eyes upon me, says God, not on the circumstances, but fix your eyes upon me and believe my word, says God. Speak my word to your mountains and you will see the mountains come down. And I hear the Lord say, every mountain will come down as you speak to it. And the Lord says, you must have patience and you must endure to the end. Amen. Some of these mountains are coming down in different time frames. But God says, speak my word to that mountain and the mountains will come down, says the Lord. So, Father, I just thank you right now for Diamond. We release the word upon her right now. We stir her up in the prophetic. We just release encouragement to her right now in Jesus' name. And, Father, we seal the word over her right now, and we charge her with it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. This word is for Sarisa uh, Parish. I apologize if I said that a little bit wrong. Amen. Praise God. Father, we just uh, stir my sister up right now in the name of Jesus. And, Father, uh, also encouragement, a lot of encouragement tonight. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Father, we just bind discouragement upon all these ladies tonight. In the name of Jesus that I've been prophesying over. 
We just bind discouragement right now in Jesus' name. And we even bind fear. We bind fear tonight also in Jesus' name. Fear of the future. Fear of what has happened. Uh, uh, fear of the new uh, things that are, that are coming upon the earth. Amen. Fear of the disease and COVID. Uh, a fear of not being able to pay bills. We just bind it right now. Fear of health and medical issues. In Jesus' name, we bind that right now. In Jesus' name. And Father, we just thank you for Miss Sir, Sir Risa. For the Lord says, I am with you, daughter. I am with you, says the Lord. And the Lord says, continue to believe me for those things that I've even already promised you, says God. For the Lord says, I'm watching over my word to perform it. And that's even, even uh, uh, Sir Risa, what I'm hearing the Lord say as you believe the prophetic word, amen, and, and if there's any conditions in those words, make sure you do that. Because God says he's watching over that, and he's going to perform it, amen. He is faithful, amen, he's faithful. But all our prophetic words are conditional. We must do any instruction that's in those prophetic words. So make sure that you read through it, and that's why we also recommend that you type out or write out your prophetic words so that you don't miss something, amen. But the Lord says, daughter, I'm with you, says God. And the Lord says, even the enemy thought that he had you down for the count. But the Lord says, I pulled you up and I placed your feet on that solid rock. And that Lord, and the Lord says, I am your solid rock, says God. And the Lord says, I'm building in you even a greater faith in the season, says God, and a greater trust. So the Lord says, don't look to the circumstances, don't look to the mountains, don't look to the chaos in the land. But I want you to believe me, says God. Believe my word. And the Lord says, even make it a daily bread. Put those scriptures right in front of me. There's, I, I see that there's some scriptures that pertain to your situations. And I'm seeing you write them out and put them right in front of you and keep that as your daily bread every day. And claim those scriptures every day into your situation. And the Lord says, you're going to see things change. And the Lord says, I'm, I'm putting new relationships in your life, says God. And I'm surrounding you with even a greater faith. Uh, in, in, in There's people around you who are going to have uh, greater faith that are going to be able to encourage you in a greater way. And so the Lord says, I'm opening up new things for you in this next season, says, says the Lord, where you will be greatly encouraged. <laughs> Excuse me, says the Lord. So Father, we just release that to her right now, and we seal the word upon her right now in Jesus' name, and we charge her with it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Okay, Andrea, any alibi fires? Amen. Father, we just thank you right now, Lord, for this night. And uh, Father, we just thank you, Lord, for the word that's gone forth. Thank you, Lord, for the teaching tonight. Amen. And, and Father, we just ask just a continual stirring upon the people right now. In Jesus' name, Father. Thank you, Lord. And, and if there's anybody out there in Facebook land that would say, Pastor Linda, I'm not sure that I know Jesus. We always want to give an opportunity for you to get saved. Amen. That's the greatest thing, the greatest gift that Jesus gave us. Amen. Was he spilled his blood for us. Amen. That we can go to heaven. But all we got to do is accept him. And we got to do it from our from our heart. Amen. And so it's a very easy thing. All, all we have to do is say in the simple prayer, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and forgive me of my sins. I want to live for you from this moment on. In Jesus' name. Amen. And that's as easy as it all is. And if you'd like the baptism of the Holy Spirit tonight with the evidence of speaking in tongues, amen, it's an awesome gift and it's free for everybody. Yeah, I, all you got to do is follow me. Uh, you know, in this prayer, I'm going to, I'm going to have you say a prayer tonight. I'm going to, you know, and let's say this, Lord Jesus, baptize me in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in other tongues. I want this gift in Jesus name. And now Father, we release that anointing for that gift right now upon all those who ask for it in the name of Jesus. And if you want a new infilling, raise your hand and Father, we just stir them up right now and we release a new infilling upon the people in Jesus name. Amen. And if you want, if you want a stirring in the gifts of the Holy Spirit, amen, whatever gift it might be, amen, just raise your hand tonight. I just heard the Lord say that. We're going to stir you all up today in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We activate everybody to a new level. In Jesus' name, we release, Father, according to the will of the Lord, right? In Jesus' name, we just release those gifts of the Holy Spirit right now. Activate them, Lord. Stir them up to a new level. In Jesus' name. Amen. Anybody out there tonight uh, who has debt uh, that they're trying to get rid of, they're, they're, they're having a problem, um, you, you need strategy. You're, you're way over your head in debt, and you're fearful about 
How are you going to overcome this debt? You don't even see a way out. If there's anybody like that tonight, please chat in the chat box right now because that's what I'm getting. That there's some people out there tonight that are over their head in debt. Amen. And you don't have to tell us how much or whatever. Amen. But it's uh, it's a boost of faith. Uh, it's just good to know that that uh, that I'm getting the right thing. Okay. And uh, if you'd say tonight, Pastor Linda, I I need help with the, with debt. I need a strategy. Amen. Please chat that in tonight. All right. So we so we know. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you tonight. Amen. Just raise your hand, whoever you are. Amen. And I feel like there's several people out there that are listening tonight that you need a strategy. Amen. Uh, you, you are feeling overwhelmed. Okay. And you need help. Praise God. All right. So just raise your hand tonight. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I got a witness on this tonight. Amen. Uh, if you know of somebody like that, you can stand in proxy for that person. Uh, okay. It's like it's intercession. It's a type of intercession, okay? And so even tonight, there's there's some people I'm going to stand, stand in proxy for. I got a witness all over my body. Oh, praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't recall the Lord ever doing this. Uh, maybe he had in the past, I'm sure, but uh, not recently. There's a real anointing on this right now. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you for letting me know. Amen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm standing in for eight... Um, nine people amen praise god thank thank you lord so I'm, I'm standing in for a couple there's about nine ten people out there tonight okay i want you to raise your hand praise god i'm going to virtually anoint you tonight amen father in the name of jesus i just i just release strategy right now i want you all to anoint your head right now lord we just anoint them right now lord even for the people that i'm standing in proxy for right now father in jesus name Father, we anoint them right now to receive fresh strategy, Father, uh, 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 Lord, for these debts, that they can get out of debt. Father, show them the way. Father, you can make a river in the wilderness, Father. Oh, God, you can make water come out of the rock. And so, Father, we ask, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, Father, release strategy right now. In Jesus' name, we release a strategy in the name of Jesus. Amen. We release strategy right now. We release it in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit of debt. I bind that, that devouring spirit right now. I come against you with the blood of the lamb. I even come against, I, I bind that overwhelming uh, feeling like there's no way out of this. There is always a way out in Christ Jesus. Amen. He says, I am the way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. In everything, he's the way. Jesus is the way. He's got the answer for every single person here. For every person, he's got the way. Okay? There is a way. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we release that right now. In Jesus' name, we release it right now. We bind that devouring spirit. We bind that debt right now. We bind that lack, that spirit of lack, in the name of Jesus. We break it. I break that assignment. We break that assignment with the blood of the Lamb right now to even hold back finances in Jesus' name. We break that assignment that, that holds back the revelation of how to get out of this problem in Jesus' name. And there's somebody out there who's been contemplating suicide uh, or, or suicidal thoughts have come across your mind uh, uh, several times. Uh, maybe not for this problem, but there's overwhelming problems that you don't know how to get out of. And sometimes the enemy tempts you by telling you if you just, you know, take your own life, get off the planet. You know, just, you know, get, get out of here. Okay? And it'll all come to an end. No. We rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit of suicide right now in the name of Jesus. We bind that right now. We break the power of that death, murder, and suicide spirit right now in jesus name we come against it with the blood of the lamb and we plead the blood of jesus over all of these people and all of the other people that have uh, contemplated that or thought that in jesus name we break that assignment right now i bind witchcraft and occult and cult trying to come against the people of god and even tell them there's no way out 
and even uh, it, it, that, that spirit's been in cahoots with that suicide thought. And I break the power of that right now. And we bind lust, Delilah, Athalia, Eve, and Absalom. In Jesus' name, I break the power of it right now. And Leviathan, I bind you in Jesus' name. And we come against you with the blood of the Lamb. In Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, we release encouragement to the people right now. Strategy and encouragement right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Father, open doors for them. Open doors for, for promotions, for jobs. Lord, even during the time of this famine and, and pandemic, there's nothing too hard for God. Father, I thank you. And these people, Lord, they've been givers. Father, the word says give and it shall be given. Good measure, pressed down, shall men give into their bosom. And Father, we release that right now. Father, stir up people to give into their bosom, Lord. In Jesus' name, miraculous giving. In the name of Jesus, miraculous giving. Supernatural giving in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Supernatural strategies. Supernatural giving in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. We praise your name, Father. We thank you, Lord. Someone needs a car. If that's you, chat your chat chat your name in. I'm, I I I just got a thought. Somebody needs a car. So if someone have a if someone has a broke down car, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we just release that car right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, give them a car, fix the car, whatever is going on, whatever, however you want to handle it, Lord. But Father, we pray for that car situation right now, in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, whoever needs a car, Father, in Jesus' name, whoever's got a broke-down car, whatever the situation is, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God, thank you, Lord. We just praise you, God. We thank you, Father, for fixing the car situation, whoever needs one. Lord, whatever's going on with that, in the name of Jesus. Whoever needs a house out there, amen? Some Somebody needs a house, amen? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank, thank you, Lord. Whoever needs a house, amen, raise your hand right now. You need a house. You need another place to live. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just rebuke that devouring spirit right now. It's trying to hold back the blessings of God from your life. Father, we release that house to you right now in Jesus' name. Yes, God. Lord, we thank you, Father, right now for the revelation of where the house is. Father, even providing the resources for it, the money for it, Father, whatever, in Jesus' name, even if they need another job or a new job, Father, whatever it is, we release the provision right now. For the Lord says, I am the provider of all your need, and somebody needs a house. So, Father, we release that right now, in Jesus' name, and we thank you, Lord, for it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for provision, provision being released to your people right now, supernaturally, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, praise God. Okay, thank you, Andrea. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I had an unction on PA after I said it. I, did, I wasn't even thinking about PA, and that came to me when I was praying. Amen, right? Praise God. So there's an unction on houses and a car, too. Okay, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Just praise Him. Amen. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. God is doing it. There's an unction on all this. Praise God. This was not Linda's good idea. Okay? Praise God. This is just came up in my spirit. Praise God. We just praise you, Lord. We just thank you. Just praise him right now. Just thank him for what, what he's going to do. Amen? Because all you guys, you're going to get your house. You're going to get your car. Praise God. You're going to get provision. You're going to get strategies to get out of debt. You know, our God is a great God. He does great things. Praise God. Lord, we just thank you. We praise you, Lord, right now. Amen? Give and it shall be given. I see all your names on here. All of you are great givers. God is going to give back to you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. It's going to be supernatural. You're going to know it's God. You're going to know it's God. He's going to open up doors for you supernaturally. I just saw a quick vision of, of the Red Sea parting. Okay, God is going to do supernatural parting of the Red Sea. Father, we thank you right now. We thank you, Jesus. We give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Father, for that anointing. Thank you, Lord, that you're parting the Red Sea for these people. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Um, some somebody still needs a healing with their foot. Um, praise God. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Was that for Virginia? I, I forgot exactly who it was. I apologize. Amen. Uh, whoever needs a healing in your foot, I still I'm getting feet again. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. If you can touch your feet without hurting yourself, amen, sometimes it's hard to stoop down. But I want you to anoint your feet. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Um, the best you can. If you can't reach it, then, then anoint your um, head. Okay, praise God. Okay, we got some more people here. All right, I'm going to do feet uh, first on Andrea. Then we'll, we'll get back to the home. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, is uh, I don't know if Alice is on tonight, but anyway, we're going to re release that. Okay, so Alice, uh, you, you you still needed a he uh, healing in your feet. Praise God. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Andrea. And uh, anybody else who needs healing in, in their feet. So if you have plantar fasciitis or you got inflammation in the feet, uh, you, you, you got aches or pains, broken bones, anything connected to the feet, and I just heard the Lord say ankles. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we just release healing right now to feet and ankles in the name of Jesus. Yes, God, we just command a healing right now. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. Amen. By his stripes we are healed in the name of Jesus. I'm just going to anoint my own feet. Praise God. By his stripes we are healed right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We release that. Uh, somebody's been getting cramps. Uh, in, I, I sense it's below the knee. It's in your calf area, uh, cramps, um, and you're not even sure why. You're just getting cramps. Uh, praise God. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we, we release uh, right now, in Jesus' name, we release healing in your body right now for cramps, in Jesus' name. If anybody is lacking calcium, we release uh, uh, calcium, we are healing uh, if for the uh, for calcium in the body right now, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, also, uh, someone's having cramps, menstrual cramps, which are very, uh, very uh, bad, uh, creating pain. Okay, if that's you, just raise your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, even in that area right now, in the name of Jesus, we just command peace in the body right now. In Jesus' name, peace be still. Peace be still. A healing right now. Yes, God. In in, in this in, in the female areas right now, a healing right now. And any other, anybody else who needs healing in those areas, uh, for anything, Father, we release healing right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We command fibroids out of their body right now to be dissolved. In Jesus' name, any any tumors in, in these areas, any scars, anything uh, in, in the area of the womb or female areas right now, we just come at a healing right now in Jesus' name. We come against rashes or burning sensations in the name of Jesus. Any type of diseases or infections, we bind you and command you out right now in Jesus' name. For I am the Lord that heals thee. We just plead the blood of Jesus over all these people right now. In Jesus' name, we just command a healing right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Father, for Diamond right now, we just release healing for cramps right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Lord, we just blow a wind of healing, an anointing of healing upon you right now. In Jesus' name. Cramps be gone. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. For Maria and Jennifer, Father, Lord, give them a home, Father. Give them strategy for how to get the home, Father. Even resources and financing, provision for them, Father, right now. In Jesus' name. And, Father, we just thank you, Lord, for it. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 
Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay. Praise God. All right. Okay. Anything else on Andrea? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just thank you. We just praise you. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. I'm just getting eyes, too. I've got eyes again. Anybody with eye trouble, vision? Amen. The Lord is healing that again tonight. Another level of healing on eyes, cataracts, glaucoma, optic nerve problems, uh, vision, loss of vision. Okay, that's stigmatism, farsighted, nearsighted, any type of vision problem. Amen. Thank you. Uh, amen, Andrea. Just put your hands on your eyes. Father, we release healing right now in the name of Jesus. Healing, Father, in Jesus' name. Healing in Jesus' name. Yes, God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Kavina, okay, amen. All right, and, and I'm going to pray for my eyes, too. So, Kavina, you and I, amen. We're going to believe God for healing in our eyes and in vision. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I just release healing to Kavina right now. In Jesus' name. Whatever is going on with the nerves, with the optic nerve, with vision, Father, uh, we just we just release a healing right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Even sinuses, uh, I don't know. I, I, I wasn't aware of sinuses get involved with vision. I don't know. But I'm just, I'm, I just, we're just praying for sinus too. In the name of Jesus, we just rebuke and bind any sinus issues um, and I'm even hearing asthma again, respiratory, respiratory asthma. Father, we rebuke those diseases out of these people's bodies right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we command healing right now. Yes, God, anybody with COVID or virus, uh, Father, we just bind that disease right now. We command it out of their bodies right now. By his stripes, we are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Maria, your eyes be healed. In Jesus' name, be healed, be whole. In Jesus' name, disease, we bind you in Jesus' name. Amen. We command you out of their bodies right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We just praise you, Lord. Amen. If anybody has any problem with their hands... Uh, cramps in the hands, arthritis in the hands. I just saw somebody's hand. It looked, it looked like it was kind of trying to cripple up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just release a healing for hands right now in the name of Jesus. There will be no arthritis, no crippling in the name of Jesus. We bind that in Jesus' name. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for healing in the hands right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God for healing right now. We release healing. Just touch your hands right now. We release healing to you right now. Amen. Praise God. Okay, got it, Andre. Father, we release healing right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Uh, Father, we speak to Andrea's hands right now in the name of Jesus. And, and even mine try to, every now and then, try to cramp up. And i got to rebuke it. That's from all the typing that all of us has, has done. Oh, okay, uh, a lot of us, you know, have to type a lot, right? Kavina, Amanda, right. Okay, praise God. Wow, thank you, Lord. Father, thank you for the words of knowledge tonight. Praise God. And thank you, Lord, for the healing anointing. We release healing anointing. Everybody... Amen. Touch your hands. Anoint your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we release healing right now. In Jesus' name, we break the power of that cramping, of that disease, even if arthritis is trying to come in there. I break the power of it right now by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, and Father, we release healing, even a creative miracle. Somebody needs a creative miracle for something. Something needs to be recreated. I don't know, it might be cartilage uh, in, in the body somewhere. 
But Father, we would just release that right now in Jesus' name. Yes, God, Lord, heal hands right now. Hands, feet, eyes, boy, he's getting the whole body. Father, in the name of Jesus, release healing, release healing. Father, even uh, uh, miracles, Father, an anointing for miracles in their body right now. I mean, no more cramping in the name of Jesus. No more pain in the hands in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Maria, release healing to you also in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Wow. The Lord doing a lot of healing tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you know that you know that you've got a healing, okay, let us know. Chat it in. Amen. Even if it comes a day or two from now or whatever, if you know that, that you've got a healing, please let us know. Amen. Because we are believing God. We are pressing in for greater anointing. Amen. For healing and miracles, signs, miracles, and wonders. Right? Amen. Praise God. Our Lord is a healer. Let's just give him a hand clap. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you, Lord, for healing us. Oh, yeah. I uh, just heard him say that healing is the children's bread. Amen. He paid the price for us. He took 49 stripes for us for healing. We can receive healing. Continue to believe for it. 100% healing. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Father, we just seal the word right now. In Jesus' name, and we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I want to remind you tomorrow night, uh, Pastor Andrea and Elder, I don't know which one, probably both of them. <laughs> one of them is going to be doing prayer tabernacle tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Amen. Oh, praise God. Diamond feels some healing in her body. Praise God. Thank you. Amen for uh, telling us. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for Diamond. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for all these people. Thank you, Lord, for healing. We believe in for 100% healing in all these people in Jesus' name. Praise God. But tomorrow night at 7.30 is Prayer Tabernacle. Amen. And then Friday night, uh, coming up this, this Friday night is, um, is Table Talk. Amen. At 7.30 p.m. And then Sunday uh, at 1 o'clock will be the prophetic class from 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. And then we're back here for Facebook at 2.30 in the afternoon. Amen. Oh, uh, please um, uh, feel free to uh, share uh, our, our Facebook site with everybody and, you know, whoever. Amen. Praise God. We appreciate that very, very much. All right. And uh, we want people to be tuned in. Praise God. We want them to get healed. We want them to get saved, delivered. Amen. You all know that, that we prophesy, we pray and do healing at every service. Amen. Praise God. So we want, you know, tell friend, friends, neighbors about the broadcast. Amen. Please have them tune in. Amen. We are continuing to believe God for great things. Amen. And we want everybody to get blessed. Amen. Thank, thank you, Jesus. And we thank you for, for tuning in. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Andrea. Yeah, she reminds me. Uh, Thursday night. Right. <laughs> There's Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard is the married group. Right. So Apostle Jeff and I uh, will, will be hosting married group. Okay. If you're married, uh, praise the Lord. And even if you don't have your partner with you right at the moment, hey, the singles, you can tune in too if you want. Amen. Praise God. And uh, it's it, we are we are going to do an encouragement, a fun thing, this Thursday night at 7:30. Praise God. And uh, we're going to be doing it by Zoom. Okay. This won't be face Facebook this Thursday night. It's going to be Zoom. Okay. Amen. So uh, let Pastor and Andrea know. Chat your email address in. Uh, if you want to be included in the in the married group, okay, and we'll make sure to send the zoom zoom link out to you All right, praise God. All right. Thank you, Andrea. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Amen All right, so on behalf of everybody Apostle Jeff and I and Pastor Andrea and Pastor Sean and Elder and Prophetess Dr. Shayla and all of the many crew the many wonderful house ministers Amen of Covenant Life Church and all of our members. Amen Covenant partners and everybody we want to thank you for tuning in tonight amen and uh we invite you back uh tomorrow night for prayer tabernacle amen so father in the name of jesus we just thank you lord father for all that you've done in our midst tonight thank you for the word the healing oh lord you've just done it all father we thank you father we thank you jesus amen we thank you lord for all that you're doing in our midst and father we, we claim psalm 91 no plague will come nigh our dwelling lord 
We cling to Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And Father, now we just release a blessing to your people in Jesus' name. Just a, a quick quick re reminder, uh, please check our website, www.covenant-life-church.org. Amen. And we've got a donate button on the, on the front page. Uh, please uh, don't, donate in. Amen. We appreciate it very, very much. And we thank you for tuning in tonight. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless and keep you. And Father, we just release a now a, even a greater blessing upon him. And we seal all the words tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Good night, everybody. Thank you.